Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi, how are you? How are you guys doing on this fine sunny day? I'm using the natural sunlight for this video. I usually use that tripod right there with the ring light. It's right there. Ignore the hot mess in the background. My Marvel posters. Like, I'm a big Marvel fan, hello. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, my name is Eric, P-A-G-A-N, spelled Pagan, not Pagan, and I'm 19 years old, and I'm a weirdo that plays with makeup, <laughs> and I do a pretty darn good job at it, I mean, look at this eye, and if you're wondering what eyeshadow palette I use, I use 35G Bronze Goals eyeshadow palette, so today's video, I'm gonna first get rid of this makeup, because... It is pretty, and I wanted you guys to see it before I take it off. Because in today's video, we're going to be doing a challenge that I thought I would never do on this channel. Trying to create di different, 10 di different looks with one palette. This is a challenge. This is a challenge. Well, not when you're dealing with the James Charles palette. You can literally create like 25 different eyeshadow looks with this so there's a lot of looks you can create with this i'm gonna try and attempt to create 10 different looks 10 different looks that no, no one has ever seen before in the beauty industry this is gonna be a long video like i can already picture this video going like two hours three hours long like i can already see it when i'm sitting down editing this so anyways we're just going to ignore this piece of hair sticking out. We're just going to ignore that. Thank you. And before we get started, I actually was inspired by somebody. I know this idea in the beauty community was not new. I personally didn't invent this. I don't know who invented this challenge, but I'm going to leave the link to the person that inspired me to do this. So. The inspiration video will be down in the description box down below. Let me wipe this makeup off and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I look normal. I just have a little bit of foundation and concealer and setting powder on. Let me just prep and prime my eyes with concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. I'm going to take a Morphe brush. This just like a concealer brush. I use this to set my concealer and brush my concealer out in place so so that we will be ready to play with the shadows. I need my little like plastic thing that tells me the shade names. This is gonna be hard because it's a good idea to give people credit, but it's not a good idea to like take their ideas and name it your own. It's like, I've always given I've always given credit to people's artwork. Like if you, if you go on my makeup Instagram, Eric P Makeup, in the description box down below, I've always given credit. I've always recreated looks, and I've always given credit to people who deserve their credit. Like hello, I'm dipping into this shade right here. It's called Tune. And I'm using that, I'm using that as my transition shade. Usually some people would go with like a, um, a code jeans or a 10% off, like some, something like a brownish type shade. I'm going with tune, like a yellowish type shade. This is kind of like a makeup tutorial, but it's a challenge. So if you want to recreate this look, tag me on Instagram and Eric P Makeup. Down in the description box down below if you haven't followed me yet. Oh, that yellow though, that yellow is pigmented. I mean, I'm going in with the shade B from his eyeshadow palette. And I'm just putting that where we applied the first shadow. I'm gonna be dipping into the JS5 brush. I'm going in with You're Kidding from his eyeshadow palette. And 
just to darken that crease. That should have been a shadow in here that says pigmented. So far the look's coming together. So let's see. Um, I'm gonna go back in with canvas on a M562 brush and just to blend out the top edge. Hmm. We're looking like Ronald McDonald right now with these colors, but we're looking good at least. I'm gonna dip into the other brush from his collection, the JS6 brush, which is kind of like an M433 brush. I'm going in with a little bit of no beans and a little bit of boutique. I mean, hey. Just to darken up that crease, just to darken up that crease more. I'm gonna use the um, e.l.f. blending brush. It's like a little blending brush, obviously. And I'm gonna use a little bit of wig and a little bit of So Good, just to combo. And we're plopping that on the lid. I'm actually patting on the color instead of like brushing it on. It actually is kind of shimmery, but I need that extra glow, girl. Dipping into face now for that extra glow. Face is your best friend when it comes to glowing for the gods. Five, I'm going to be going in with a little bit of 518 and rusted. Just had a check. And we're kind of giving orange vibes here, so I'm putting a little bit of combo orange on the bottom eyelash line. Mmm, actually it's kind of pretty. Girl, I didn't realize I was this good of a makeup artist. I'm gonna do a mixture of Flamethrower from Jeffree Star and Red Rum from Jeffree Star since we're getting like a, um, a red orange type of vibe. So, do an Red Rum first. And just a little bit of Flamethrower in the middle. Blend it out with your finger, and I feel like this look is complete. Just a little quick spritz of the continuous Morphe setting spray. And this look, one down, nine more to go. Holy shit. So let me wipe this makeup off, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back, and I actually love this thwarping thing. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Um, okay, now we're back and we're doing we're gonna be doing look number two now. You already saw look number one, we're gonna be doing look number two. And you already saw the colorfulness and I kinda wanna do something like nude and natural and something with a little liner in it. First, we actually have to prime our lids yet again with the um, same concealer, the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline. The shade Light, just in case you forgot. I only do two dots, that's a, you don't, you only need two dots of concealer, that's it. Um, I'm starting, I'm starting off with Code Jeans as my transition color. And I'm using the mirror from my King Tut Skin Frost. I'm using the Morphe M433 brush. I'm gonna be dipping into tea and a little bit of no beans just to darken up that crease. It's gonna be like a 
neutral eye. Uh, I actually kind of like this look, like, blended out. Because there's harsh lines here, and we don't want that. Gonna go in with a little bit of So Good, and I'm plopping that in the inner corner. Like, you can see the inner corner, like, highlight, like, you can see it just a little bit, but it's there. And be careful. My career. Just gonna use that same e.l.f. brush. I, I cleaned the brush so it doesn't have the residue from the other look. I'm gonna go in with Halloween, a mixture of Halloween. Oh my god. I'm only using Halloween, I'm not mixing any of these shadows. Like, let me swatch this, actually. It's on my finger, and... Mm. I don't know if you guys can see that in the light. Like, mmm. I'm gonna be going in with Morphe li Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Jealousy. Lip, this lipstick is very creamy. It smells like. Let me hold on. It smells like cake batter frosting. Just for the extra nest, we're gonna be going in with some setting spray. Got a taste of it in my mouth. So that's look number two down. Let me wipe this makeup off and I'll be right back with look number three. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be stressful. Just now figured out that I'm gonna be doing only five looks for now, part one. This is part one and part two will be coming out next coming week. Okay guys, I'm back. I wiped my makeup off. I've already primed my lids. And let's get into the next look, the third look. We've already gotten two down. First, I'm gonna go in with Pinkity Drinky as my transition shade. And I'm using the um, Morphe X Jeffy Star JS5 blending brush. Like you can see the sparkliness, like, ah, it's so pretty. I'm gonna be taking a little bit of skip. Look how pigmented. Oh, ah, oh, you're killing me. Now I'm going in with the M433 brush from Morphe and uh, tip, I'm dipping into Love That and single and just putting that at the outer V. This look is coming together. It's very bright it's very vibrant pink. Like 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 Wow. And we're already gonna be going in with a mixture of Love That and Skip on the under eye. And we're gonna cut the crease with this flat top brush from, I don't know what brand, this is probably Eco Tools, I'm assuming. Eco Tools, this little flat brush like this and you're gonna get your concealer, which I'm using my Fit Me Concealer, and I'm gonna cut the crease in the center. It's 
obviously two very different eye shapes, but we'll work with it. Oh, goodness. I mean, without the um, different eye shapes, this look actually looks pretty good. Like, hello? Making a little bit of artistry on the same brush. And I'm actually gonna pack that on. Just for that pop of color. Taking, love that, and or applying that at the edge of that crease. I'm actually gonna let let I'm actually gonna see how it performs when you apply Morphe Continuous Setting Mist on it. You can even see the little thing crumbling up in the pan. I'm actually gonna go with this little Morphe brush. This doesn't have a name on it. And I'm going in with I'm going in with Sister from his palette, and I'm plopping that in the inner corner. Oh, you can see the eye. Mm. You can see the eye in the sun. That sounds like a good song, Eye in the Sun. Did I just come up with a good title name for a song? Girl, I'm writing that down. I feel like you could go with any type of lipstick I'm going with X Supermodel from um, Jeffrey Star Cosmetics and his Lip Ammunition Lipstick Stick Lipstick Formula. And it's like a pale, pale, pale nude. Will I walk around? Will I walk outside with this lip color on? Probably not, but it's still a pretty lip color. But I'm actually gonna go with the, um, let's see. I'm gonna go with the shade Diva in his Velour Liquid Lipstick Formula, and I'm gonna darken that up. Set that in place. The sun is shining bright on this look, like. But anyways, three looks down, two more to go. Part one, this is part one. The part two will be coming in the next couple of days. I don't know when. Let me wipe this look off and I'll be right back. My skin definitely needs a day off. Like, after the amount of makeup I need to put on, after the amount of makeup I put on today, my skin definitely needs a day off. Like, taking that M441 brush, and I'm going in with um, Tune from, I'm going in with Tune as my transition color, because we're gonna be doing a blue type look. We're gonna be doing, we're gonna be playing with the color blue today. I'm gonna to be dipping into this blue type shade from James Charles, the shade named Playground. And we're applying that on top of our crease. Now I'm gonna be going in with a blending brush from Morphe. Yet again, it's a brush with no name on it. I'm going in with Brother, just to darken that crease up. I'm gonna be going in with this little smudger brush from Morphe. And I'm gonna be going in with Social Blade and Daddy with two green shades. 
and I'm plumping that under the eyelash line. It looks coming together. There have been moments in this video where I was like, girl, I'm done. It's stressful, I can't feel this anymore. But here I am, fourth look in. We're still going. I'm gonna need a lot of skincare after this, so. Mostly for my eyes. But, gonna take that same e.l.f. blending brush, and I'm taking a mixture of Hello and Cape Cod, and I'm gonna apply that on the lid. taking hello again and I'm plopping that in, in the corner as a highlight because we're trying to stick with the blue theme on the under eyes I'm trying to stick with the blue theme on top but with a little bit of a pop of color well not really but we have to add the lips obviously I'm gonna make do a mixture of Blue Velvet from Jeffree Star and Breakfast at Tiffany's because we're definitely giving you Blue Velvet and Breakfast at Tiffany's vibes on here. So we're going to be going in with Blue Velvet first and then just to outline the lips. And now with Breakfast at Tiffany's. You can even smell the root beer flow, like, so amazing. And then blend that out with your finger. And we're just gonna set that in place, and let's see. I mean, we just set that in place. Oh, yes. Can you see the so that's Four looks down, one more to go for this video. Part two will be coming out in the next couple of days. So, let me wipe this makeup off and I'll be right back. I just wiped the eyes off and now I'm back. Final look of this video. And for this final look, I'll be doing a cut crease. You know, with the pink, purple-ish type look, I had a crease. I cut the crease in the center. We're gonna be doing like a full on dramatic cut crease. So I'm laying with, but guess what colors we're gonna be using? Yellow and green. We're gonna be using the colors yellow and green because yeah, we used yellow in the first look. That was cute and all, but we're gonna be doing, but I feel like yellow and green complement each other. So, so for the final look, I'm hyped up. So let's get straight into this. I'm gonna be going it. My eyes are already prepped and primed with the same concealer, all that stuff. I'm gonna go in with B from the same palette. We're gonna drag this shadow up and out like a tail, like up and out. Like that's what we're doing here. going in with mixture of social blade and daddy and we're gonna darken that crease it was very dramatic very dramatic it's literally past my eyebrow tail like girl that dramatic yes I bet extra we're gonna be going in with the foundation now laying the concealer out to rest. I'm actually gonna use this type of brush, like a little, it's kind of like the same thing as the other brush that we had, but I can't find it. It's kind of the same thing as this brush that we've been using, but this is Eco Tools and this is like Morphe. I'm actually gonna, need, I'm actually gonna use this brush and we're gonna plop on the foundation on my hand. And we're just gonna go straight in with the crease cutting. I'm 
I'm actually gonna get, let's see, where's that brush at? I'm actually gonna take the same brush that we used in the first look, and we're gonna set that in place, set the concealer in place with Tune, which is this shade right here in the middle, right there. Gonna be going in with, um, we're gonna be going in with Walk, which is like this green metallic shade in the in his palette and I'm plopping that on the lid. A little bit of ring light pigmented that is. Just plopping that straight on because I don't know if you guys remember from earlier. Um, let's see. Ring light has kind of like a green hue to it, so I'm gonna add that on top of guac. I'm actually gonna take um, Queen Bee from Jeffree Star, and I'm gonna outline the um, I'm gonna outline the crease with yellow. Like, I actually kind of like this look. Oh my goodness. And if you want, you can actually drag out the liner and bring it back here. If you want, you can drag out that liner and bring it back there. Let me take that e.l.f. crease brush again and going back in with B and Social Blade and plot that under the crease. We're going to be going in ring light in the inner corner. Look at that. Mm, I feel like an alien. Yes, that highlight. Yes, bitch. This is one of my favorite looks from this video. Like, I actually kind of like it. So the eyeshadow look is done. If you want to plop on a nude lip, you can go with any nude lip. Or if you want to go bold, you can go with like a green or a yellow. Stick with the monochromatic look. Face, set the face, I'm gonna set the face with Morphe. And so there's five looks done. The next five will be in a different video. And subscribe, like and comment down below. Um, follow my social media, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat, my TikTok, and my makeup Instagram. And I'll see you guys later. The link to my last video will be in the description box down below. So, I'll see you guys later. I'm giving you alien vibes. Ugh.